Troy Kearns, real estate investor, bringing it to you from my Las Vegas office. And in today's video, we're gonna get into what are the best business checking accounts, savings accounts, when you start your new business, what you should do, where you should open an account, the best interest rate, how you're gonna benefit the best. Make sure that you stay all the way until the very end of this video, because I'm gonna get into some big secrets that you need to understand about banking, because it's going to set you up for success. By opening up a good business bank account, Account to do business with. We're going to talk about the positives and the negatives of each bank and which one you should use. So what's this video all about? The video all about is understanding what is a good bank and what is a bad bank and where you wanna put your money when you start to do business in real estate or in business in general, you wanna make sure you have a great banking relationship. We're gonna go through some specific banks that we specifically researched and then some of my own personal recommendations so that you can get a very clear view of what is a good decision for you and you, you can make a well-informed decision that fits your business's needs. So the main reason that you should care to watch this whole video, I'll tell you right now, this is something that took me a long time to understand. If you're with the wrong banker, you're basically walking on your knees, right? You're like crawling. And once you get the right banker, you got roller skates. You can go wherever you wanna go, okay? So if you got the right banker, they're gonna help you make good decisions, they're gonna teach you good things, and a banking relationship is going to catapult you in your success in business because you're gonna to have to borrow money in order to succeed. So let's get right into it. Let's talk to the first bank, and that's Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo Bank is, what's the positives? Well, first of all, it's pretty Pretty much in every state in the United States. I will tell you firsthand, there's not many of them in Louisiana, but over and above, there's branches everywhere. They've got a great platform. So they've got 13,000 ATMs and 5,200 branches. So there's a lot of branches, a lot of accessibility in Las Vegas, they're everywhere. Like there's like five around my house, right? So they're super convenient and they're super easy to go and open up a bank account with. Super convenient, super easy, lots of branches. And you can pretty much get a free checking. I know it's great. You give them your money and they'll actually let you keep it in there for free, no charge. They'll just lend it out to everybody, but you can do that for only putting $5,000 a month in that bank account and make sure you have at least a balance of that much. You can do up to 100 transactions per month. No fees or anything like that. And obviously check with them those terms and change all the time. I'm not a Wells Fargo salesperson, okay? But it's a great bank in terms of accessibility. I have a Wells Fargo account, okay? I don't use it for business no more. I did do that in the past and I'm gonna get into details about why I don't do that now. So here's why I, I, I just use Wells Fargo for the, really what it's good for. I use it for an ATM. So I have a personal account there so that when I'm in any state, no matter where I'm at, I have a wallet on my iPhone and I have an ATM card in here. I got my Wells Fargo. This is just my personal ATM card, okay? I also have it on my own iPhone wallet, right? So if I lose this card I, or lose this wallet, I still got that. That means that I don't gotta pay any ATM fees and I'm cheap because rich people are cheap, okay? So I don't like to pay ATM fees because you get hit on both ends. You get hit when you take it out and then you get hit by your banker for taking it out, right? So if I have a Wells Fargo account, that's my slush fund money, that's my spending money, right? So that's what I use it for. Right, I'll give you an example why I don't use them for business banking. I started a tow company. I went to go borrow money from them. The tow company had $50,000 in the business account. I went and asked them to borrow money for buying a new truck. A new truck is around $80,000. They offered to lend me 30. Okay, that's the risk tolerance. They have no risk tolerance. I then got with another commercial lender Okay, I'm gonna give you that name if you want them, their, their name, just comment below, we'll give it to you. But that lender gave me 0% down and loaned me up to $150,000, okay? So Wells Fargo is not a good business bank. It's a good place to save your money and to start when you're brand new. But if you wanna get loans, not the place you wanna go. All right, next big bank, Chase. Wait, the all important JP Morgan Chase, right? It's got the biggest historical name out there, so we're gonna get into it. Um, in fact, I've banked at Chase before too, and I don't currently bank there anymore. I banked at Chase because 
they ate Wamu. Or the government gave them WAMU, Washington Mutual, and said, hey, this is your bank now. And so my bank account turned into a Chase account. So I pulled it all out, put it to Wells Fargo because I didn't like them making the decision for me, okay? But that doesn't mean they're, they're a bad bank. They may be a great bank. We're gonna get into details what make them a great bank. So they have low monthly costs to put your money in. That's what makes them a great bank. They don't charge you much to put your money there. You've got unlimited amounts of time that you can deposit that money. You can do it as much as you want. They're not gonna charge you anything. And as funny as that sounds, most banks these days are charging you for depositing your cash. So the fact that they don't charge you for depositing your cash is actually a positive. They actually don't freaking charge you as long as you meet certain criteria. There's unlimited electronic deposits, but they may charge you for cash depending on how much you're gonna put in, right? So one little quick tip about this is if you have a business bank account, they always are gonna charge you for putting in your cash. So one trick you could do is you could put your money in your personal account, cash, and they're not gonna charge you and then you could transfer it into your business. Just saying. Because they charge you like lots of money. Like we're putting in money after money after money and they're charging us for putting it in. I'm like, what the heck? They're taking, a, they're taking a piece of your action. They're your business partner. I misspoke when I said earlier they don't charge you for cash. It's actually $5,000 free of depositing cash. So if you just deposit more than $5,000 in cash in that bank, they're gonna charge you. So make sure that you understand that it may, and check out what their personal account does because they probably won't charge you in their personal account because that's been my experience in the past is that if it's a business account, they charge you for depositing cash. If it's a personal account, they don't. Another good thing about this bank is they're everywhere. They have lots of online access, so it's a great bank if you're doing things everywhere that you want to have access for okay so they're very accessible they're very technologically focused in fact I think that both Wells Fargo and Chase have probably some of the best technology out there now let's get into Capital One and in Nevada we only have a few of these locations so it's going to be something that I don't have personal experience with in terms of in terms of dealing with this particular bank for my banking needs, but I do use them for a credit card and I can tell you that they're a pretty decent company to work with. Let's get into how they are as a bank. Well, they've got unlimited transactions each month. That's good news. They're like Chase, these guys stick together. $5,000 a month unlimited cash transactions up to $5,000. So the same thing with Chase. They'll waive their $15 service fee if you keep up to $2,000 a month in your account for their algorithm. So if you got more than that amount of money for the time that they need it, they won't charge you anything for keeping your money there. So you got free business credit cards, free online paying, free online mobile banking. The best thing is that they're accessible, they're in multiple states, they're a big bank, and they've got a great credit card system. Probably one of the best credit card systems out of any bank that we've talked about. I like their credit card system. The other banks, their credit card system is not that great. Yeah, Capital One is, you know, is a great bank. It's an emerging bank. Uh, it was established by these two guys who built Capital One. So now they're getting into the banking business. I think they've done a fantastic job with their credit cards. So I really look for them for technology and innovation. They understand personal debt and personal financing. So I think that Capital One's got bright, a bright future ahead, but let's go move on to the next one. All right, we're gonna talk about NBKC. So NBKC, is an online bank, right? That's their core niche, is that you? they cut out all the people that you don't wanna deal with, if you don't wanna deal with people, and you can do everything online, right? MBKC, I don't know where they came up with that terrific name, but good job guys, branding. It's easy to say, it comes, rolls right off your lips, MBKC. Who cares about the name? Let's go into the details about why they're a good bank and why you should consider them. So you can have a zero dollar balance and they're not gonna charge you for being broke. You can literally have a bank account with no money in it and they will not charge you anything for having no money in your bank account. That's a good thing because some of these other banks will charge you for having no money. So that's a great thing. And I guess I didn't give it across that way. <laughs> At least you don't got to freaking stress about not having any money because there's not going to be a amount adding up saying, hey, you've got less than you had today. 
tomorrow, right? So that's a big positive there with MBKC. They won't charge you for having zero dollars in your bank account. That's a positive. They've set up a lot of uh, alliances with like 32,000 different ATMs and credit cards. So they've got a good alliances where you can go and not be charged for taking money out of your account. That's another good benefit that MBKC has. There's zero dollars in transaction fees and there's unlimited transactions, right? You can do as many as you want, zero dollars for it. Another big benefit for MBKC. There's free banking through their business app at MBK. It's zero dollar cashier's checks. Listen, they don't charge you any money for a cashier's check. That's a good benefit, right? Zero dollars, no crap. Zero dollars for a cashier's check. That, that's usually you just converting your money into like a, a cashier's check because somebody requires it, but that's a huge convenience. So hats off to MBKC. They do have stores, but it's $0 to deposit whether you're in store or not in store. Okay, so that's good. They don't charge you money for depositing your money. I like that because banks are getting away from that. And I like that. One thing I do like about MBKC, one thing that they offer that the other guys don't, is they offer you a $12 credit for taking out money out of your account. Like, so if you go take it out from another bank that they don't work with, they'll give you up to $12 of that money for free. So you can go take your money out for free across multiple platforms. So that's cool. And like I said, if they charge you more, you just call them up. You complain and they're not gonna charge you for that. Let's talk about Axos Bank, okay? Axos, A-X-O-S, Axos, another great name. So this is the best bank account if you're looking for a good return on the money that you have in the bank. They are the highest yield for having money in the bank account, right? That's what we found out. So if you've got a lot of money that you're just sitting on and you wanna put it in the bank, they're gonna give you the highest yield that you can find. So like a good example of that is you got like $25,000 bill, they're gonna give you 1.5% interest on that, on that money, which is actually really, really good because most banks aren't gonna give you even like 0.02%, okay? So that's like 1.5%. So they're actually giving you a return on putting your money in the bank, which most guys don't even acknowledge it. In fact, they charge you for putting it in. So these guys are paying you for putting it in, which means they're trying to build their customer base. 60 remote deposits per month for free. You can just keep making money, deposit it remote, never go into the bank, and they ain't gonna charge you nothing for it. They'll just cash your check, give you a good return on your investment, that's it. The, one of the best things I like about this bank is it's unlimited domestic ATM fee reimbursements. It's very complicated, but what I'm gonna break it down to you is you withdraw money anywhere, they're gonna reimburse you for it, their cost, your cost, whatever. Freaking huge benefit, okay? If you don't have to worry about where you withdraw money from and they're gonna reimburse you, then you can withdraw money wherever the hell you want. Some of these places charge you like 17 bucks. If you go to like one of the casinos out here, man, they whack you. They know you're drunk. You're fumbling around the casino. You don't have any money left. You're trying to get the rest of the money you got out. Guess what? When you get back home and you're broke, at least you're gonna get that money back. All right, we're gonna give you some notable mentions, okay? We're gonna go through a couple other banks that you should check out, right? Blue Vine, best for its digital free business checking. Notable mention, Blue Vine. And they will give you the ability to earn 1% after you get $100,000 in the bank account. That's cool. No monthly wiring fees. This is a major big one. No NSF fees, no non-sufficient fund fees. Another big one. No ACH payment fees, okay? If you wanna send a check through online, they're not charging you for any of the stuff that most of the other guys do. First Tech Credit Union, okay? Let's talk about them. Another notable mention, right? You know, I don't have firsthand experience dealing with this company, but I can tell you from reading all about it, it's somebody that I definitely am going to investigate more because these guys have a lot to offer, okay? Let's get into it. They offer business insurance, professional liability insurance, all sorts of insurance, employment practices insurance or EIDL. I mean, this is a great place. They're trying to offer you resources, insurance for your business. So that tells me right then and there that they are geared for business. They have educational resources. They basically have every insurance policy under the sun that they're selling at that bank. That's great. They do specialize in commercial real estate loans, so definitely check them out. I'm going to shop them, and I'll let you know my personal experience about dealing with them on a loan, because I always am looking for new, great lenders, and they've got a great bunch of insurance policies. So that alone is like super appealing to attract me as an investor to go take a look at what they got, because 
you're gonna need insurance when you have business, okay? That's 100%. So the fact that they offer that is separates them from everybody else. All right, so let me wrap this video up. You know what, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's super hard to be like exciting about rolling through details of business checking and business bank accounts, but it's something that you absolutely need to understand about what you're signing up for and what they're gonna charge you for. And that's kind of the whole reason that they're going through this video so that you don't have to do a bunch of research that we already did it for you, okay? Why I said that you need to stay till the very end is because I'm gonna tell you what the secret sauce is in order to be successful in business with banking is you need to have a local relationship with a bank okay so forget all those other banks those are tools that you're going to use to get to this step okay this step is you're going to build a relationship bank with your local lender okay I have firsthand experience of this in New Orleans, in Mississippi, and in Las Vegas, okay? And I can tell you that they don't charge you for putting any money. They'll waive all your fees if you're a big enough customer. They'll waive everything, okay? And on top of that, they'll call you and they'll get your loans done first, okay? Let me tell you, I'm gonna give a shout out to my guys right now. First Savings Bank, out of Henderson, Las Vegas. They are the most inconvenient place for me to bank because they're 30 miles away. They have one location in my home state of Las Vegas, Nevada, right? There's only one location and it's all the way across town. But I'll tell you what they over deliver on. Customer service, okay? I was the first guy to get my PPP loan. The first guy out of everybody else. They put me first because they're a smaller bank and because I'm a big customer to them, okay? They also have gotten me approved on every single loan the first time ever. I've been through other banks. Some of these other banks I mentioned, they've denied me on credit. They've denied me on stuff. They just don't understand it. it doesn't fit their system. You can't explain it to them because the person you're explaining it to is either gonna charge you to talk to them or doesn't have the ability to make a decision, okay? With a local bank, you're gonna go to a community board or you're gonna go to the bank's board. They're gonna make a decision once they get to the board and they're gonna tell you yes or no. So they actually have an interest in you succeeding and it's a personal relationship that you can build, okay? What does that mean? Just like anybody, bankers are freaking human. And if they see that you're a successful person and that you're good with your money and that you're loyal to them, they're more willing to loan you more money because they know that you only borrow when it's a good investment and that you're not a fool with your money, right? So that's something that I'm going to suggest. And my personal recommendation, if you want my personal banker's number, then make sure you comment below Hit me with it and I will reply in kind, okay? So give me your information and I will give you my information, right? So the old, you, get, you show me yours, I'll give you my, whatever it is, okay? The bottom line is you need, in order to succeed in business, you can't use any of the other banks that we mentioned. There's a good starting point. To get to the next level, you have to have a personal banking relationship. Not only is it gonna save you money on fees and wire fees, and depositing fees and transaction fees, but it's going to teach you stuff. Most of these bankers, they work with other smart investors and they pick up stuff and they share that with you. I've learned so much from my bankers. I've learned about tax credits. I've learned about other credits. I've learned about how guys make money where there ain't no money, okay? So bankers help you uncover things. They help you structure deals and they help you understand how credit and banking works and how they see things, not how you see things. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the like button anyways and make sure you subscribe make sure you shared it with a friend make sure you commented and make sure that you're following me on all my socials tiktok instagram facebook everything we're all over the place bringing you content daily